Have you ever wished you could possess a superpower? While we might not have mutant X genes like the famous comic heroes, there are individuals with abilities who defy explanation. From a magnetic man to someone with cold immunity, meet 15 people with superhuman abilities. These real-life marvels range from terrifying flexibility to grandmas immune to physical pain. She had peculiar feelings, but no, nothing to make me, no pain. Proving that extraordinary abilities exist in the most unexpected places. Number 15. Zhou Tingzhui, Grand Master. Western medicine and science often take the spotlight in our quest for understanding and solutions. However, the remarkable Grand Master Zhou Tingzhui challenges the notion that these are the only avenues to explain phenomena or address problems. A distinguished master of Kung Fu, Qigong, and Tai Chi, Zhou Tingzhui captivates audiences with his extraordinary skills that seem to defy the laws of physics. Modern Qigong, a practice rooted in Indian Shaolin Buddhism and Chinese Taoism, intricately combines breathing exercises, meditation, and fluid motions. Zhou Tingzhui performs tasks that push the boundaries of what seems possible, such as standing on thin sheets of paper without breaking through and boiling water with his bare hands. While skepticism might arise, his authenticity shines through, having been featured on reputable shows like Stan Lee's Superhumans, That's Incredible, and Ripley's Believe It or Not. Zhou Tingzhui's abilities haven't escaped the scrutiny of researchers either. Scientific studies, as acknowledged by the National Institutes of Health, have affirmed the various health benefits of Qigong, ranging from improved bone health and balance to an enhanced overall quality of life. Beyond these physical feats, Zhou Tingzhui practices traditional healing, making audacious claims about treating seemingly incurable diseases, dissolving tumors, and healing chronic injuries. Regarded as a national treasure in China, Zhou Tingzhui's healing prowess extends to a diverse clientele, including sportsmen, diplomats, celebrities, and even the Dalai Lama. Qi Gong, deeply embedded in Chinese medicine, is experiencing a resurgence in popularity, with its practice becoming widespread throughout the United States. In exploring the extraordinary feats of Grand Master Zhou Tingzhui, we find a bridge between ancient practices and modern scientific inquiry, challenging our perceptions of what is possible in the realm of human capability. Number 14. Joanne Cameron, The Woman Who Feels No Pain is Joe Cameron a real-world mutant? Well, in a fascinating twist of genetics, she stands as one of just two individuals worldwide with a rare genetic abnormality that significantly alters her experience of pain. Imagine only realizing how little pain you feel at the age of 65. After undergoing hand surgery, which should have accompanied agonizing sensations during the healing process, Joe displayed an extraordinary lack of pain. Doctors, perplexed by her pain resistance, turned to geneticists for answers. Extensive testing revealed revealed DNA abnormalities, indicating that Joe's perception of pain differed markedly from the rest of us. Interestingly, her son, who shares the same gene, reacts similarly to pain. Researchers speculate that Joe's father might have inherited this unique genetic trait. As the scientists delved into Joe Cameron's genetic makeup, many puzzling aspects of her past events began to make sense. The key lies in a mutation affecting the FAAH and FAA out genes, which establish the internal pathways for pain and anxiety. She had peculiar feelings, but no, nothing to make me, no pain. This mutation leads to a significant reduction in the activity levels of enzymes responsible for conveying these emotions. Joe's experiences further highlight the extent of her altered pain perception. As a child, she once broke her arm but kept it a secret for days, allowing the bone to heal unevenly. Remarkably, she feels nothing when consuming hot, spicy peppers and doesn't experience pain from burns, with wounds either not hurting at all or only causing discomfort during the healing process. Yet, Joe's extraordinary differences go beyond her unique pain perception. Remember the system that manages anxiety and pain? Well, Joanne Cameron doesn't just lack the ability to feel physical pain, she doesn't experience emotional distress either. No stress, no depression, no adrenaline rushes, and no feelings of fear or nervousness. Instead, she embodies a remarkably laid-back, positive, and joyful demeanor. The complexities of Joe Cameron's genetic makeup offer a captivating glimpse into the intricacies of human biology and the incredible variations that can exist within our species. Number 13. Javier Bote's Terrifying Flexibility Ever wondered about the actor who effortlessly embodies monsters, aliens, ghosts, and ghouls in some of your favorite movies? Well, that's Javier Bote for you. His towering height of 6 feet 6 inches and a distinctive slender frame make him the go-to guy for spooky roles. You might recognize him from blockbuster hits like Game of Thrones, The Conjuring, The Mummy, and It. 
What makes Bote's story even more intriguing is his journey with Marfan syndrome, a hereditary condition that has shaped his unique physical characteristics. This disorder affects the connective tissues and joints, causing them to lengthen and loosen. The result? Bote's unmistakably tall, slender build and long fingers and toes contribute to his eerie on-screen presence. Despite the challenges posed by Marfan syndrome, individuals like Bote lead normal lives, and the syndrome itself isn't inherently dangerous. However, there are potential complications such as issues with eyesight and, in severe cases, impacts on the heart. Bote's journey with Marfan syndrome began at the age of six, and despite the physical hurdles, he continued to grow, reaching an astounding height. Interestingly, he sees his diagnosis as a blessing that propelled his career forward. Botet has become a household name in the horror film industry with over 30,400 Instagram followers. His social media presence offers a peek into his behind-the-scenes world, filled with playful moments in monster costumes and makeup. In the early days of his acting career, he brought nightmare monsters to life without relying on computer-generated imagery, showcasing his dedication to the craft. Today, Botet stands tall in Hollywood, capturing the attention of directors, makeup artists, and costume designers alike. While he may not be a household name for everyone, his unique filmography is highly respected and sought after within the film industry. She's Number 12. Giannis Kouros did you know that approximately 1 million runners conquer a marathon yearly, making up a mere 0.001 of the global population? The 26.2-mile run is the ultimate athletic challenge for many, but some individuals crave an even more formidable feat, like the remarkable Giannis Kouros. In 1977, Kouros completed his first marathon. By 1983, he had finished 25 events astonishingly. Yet, that wasn't enough for him. Venturing into the realm of ultra marathons, his inaugural ultra event was the Spartathlon, a grueling 153-mile run following the path of Pheidippides from Athens to Sparta. Organizers anticipated the winner would finish in about 27 hours, but Giannis defied expectations, completing it in a mere 21 hours and 53 minutes. However, his remarkable speed led to accusations of cheating, prompting him to return a year later and finish the race in 25 hours. Here's the jaw-dropping part. In 2005, at the age of 49, Giannis shattered a world record he had set 21 years earlier in the Cliff Young six-day race. He surpassed all competitors by covering an astounding distance of 643 miles over six days. When asked about the secret to his success, Kouros humorously responded, When other people get tired, they stop. Not in my case. I use my mind to control my body. It listens to me when I tell it it's not weary. Talk about mental fortitude. To put things in perspective, Giannis Kouros, often hailed as the Forrest Gump of real life, has accumulated enough miles, according to ultra-running enthusiasts, to run to the moon. Yes, it's mind-blowing. How motivating is that? Number 11. Stephen Wiltshire. Stephen Wiltshire's extraordinary talent has allowed him to leave an indelible mark on the art world. Beyond being a remarkable individual, Stephen, an autistic genius and British architect, has a gift that many of us can only dream of attaining. From an early age, his drawings spoke volumes about his unique perspective on the world. Identified with autism at the tender age of three, Stephen's journey unfolded as he expressed himself through intricate drawings, from animals to London buses, and later to intricate cityscapes and landmarks. His artwork exhibited artistic flair, an innate grasp of perspective, and a touch of humor in his lines. Remarkably, by the age of seven, he could draw famous London landmarks with astonishing accuracy, committing every detail to memory. While still not verbal at this stage, Stephen's silent conversations with the world through his art led to a breakthrough. His first words, paper and pencil, began his journey toward fluent communication by the age of nine. Fast forward to today, and Stephen Wiltshire is a renowned artist with unparalleled attention to detail. His ability to recall entire towns after a single helicopter journey is awe-inspiring. Drawing extensive cityscapes, like the 305 square miles of New York City in a mere 19 feet, demonstrates the superhuman quality of his talents. Following a single helicopter flyover of London, he crafted a comprehensive sketch spanning four square miles of the metropolis. Stephen's exceptional gift hasn't gone unnoticed. In recognition of his extraordinary contributions to art, 
he established a permanent gallery at London's Royal Opera Arcade. Moreover, he was named a member of the Order of the British Empire in 2006. Stephen Wiltshire's incredible cityscapes and landscapes serve as a testament to the boundless possibilities of the human mind. Number 10. Wim Hof most of us run inside to put on a jacket after noticing it's getting chilly outside while we're out. But Wim Hof will never be seen acting in that way. The only non-Tibetan person in the world to have mastered the skill of Tummo, or mastering the inner fire, is this man, who uses tantric rituals to regulate his body temperature. Wim Hof, a Dutch daredevil known by the moniker The Iceman, credits his success to breath control rather than superhuman abilities. His title is Tantric Master. These breathing techniques offer the potential for a more flawless integration of mind and body, a visceral self-knowledge that extends our control over subconscious processes. Wim has developed the ability to regulate his body temperature mentally. Thus, he can place himself in really freezing conditions without even slightly feeling cold. And we're not just talking about strolling to work in a light frost or picking up the mail in the middle of a snowstorm without shoes on. Born in 1959 in Holland, Wim first went barefoot in the snow as a youngster. He credits his accomplishments to a particular type of breathing exercise. He shattered his world record by spending 72 minutes submerged in 1,550 pounds of ice. Hoff claims to own six officially recognized world records for various extreme sports, such as the longest swim under ice and the quickest half marathon ever completed in bare feet in two hours and 16 minutes. He is renowned for having ascended Mount Everest while wearing only shorts. Most individuals wouldn't be insane enough to attempt to climb the mountain with such attire, much less board a plane to Nepal. But he had to turn back at 24,300 feet because one of his feet was affected by frostbite. The summit was only 5,000 feet away from him. In addition, he crossed the 104-degree Namibian desert without drinking water and completed another marathon in the Arctic Circle while sporting his well-known swimsuit. Although Wim Hof seems to possess superhuman abilities, he thinks it's all in the mental training. He even provides a 10-week training course for those interested in learning about his skills. Oh, in t-shirts in the middle of winter, on a bike to their work, it looks like crazy. Number 9. Scott Flansburg, The Human Calculator Mastering math isn't just a useful skill, it's a superpower that liberates you from relying on calculators or smartphones. Yet, few possess this ability at the level of Scott Flansburg, often hailed as the human calculator. This renowned educator, lecturer, author, TV host, and Guinness World Record holder is celebrated for his exceptional mental prowess in performing rapid and precise math computations, from square roots to cube roots. In addition to division, Flansburg's lightning-fast calculations outshine conventional methods. In mental arithmetic, Tick. Flansburg's feats are nothing short of awe-inspiring. Certified as the fastest human calculator by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2001 and 2003, he added a randomly chosen two-digit number to itself 36 times in just 15 seconds, accomplishing a task that would typically take much longer even with a physical calculator. Not stopping at personal achievements, he actively contributes to the world of numbers by hosting and serving as an ambassador for the National Counting Bee. Flansburg's dedication to demystifying math extends to his written works, Math Magic, and Math Magic for Your Kids, aiming to uplift and inspire more people through numbers. His record-breaking achievements remain a pinnacle, showcasing his unparalleled ability to outpace calculators in rapid mental calculations. Even in a recent scientific investigation, he demonstrated a remarkable capability to compute solutions faster in his head. Yes. <laughs> than to express them verbally. Beyond accolades, Flansburg has shared his math shortcuts on prominent platforms, gracing the screens of the History Channel, CNN, Ellen, and Oprah. For nearly three decades, his extraordinary mathematical talents have captivated audiences worldwide, proving that math isn't just about numbers. It's an art mastered by the human calculator, Scott Flansburg. Number 8. Norman Gary. While many of us would shriek and wildly flail our arms at the mere sight of a bee, 
Norman Gary sees an opportunity for a whispered conversation with the fuzzy little creatures. This retired professor earned his Doctor of Philosophy in Apiculture at age 26 and elevated his bee-whispering abilities to those of a nearly superhuman. Able to entice a whopping 100,000 bees to land on his body without incurring a single sting, Norman goes beyond the ordinary to control these industrious insects, orchestrating them to perform intricate tasks. Hailing from California, Gary's mastery has grown to the point where he can command swarms of hundreds of thousands of bees, guiding them through impressive 90-degree spins. Norman Gary's remarkable skills haven't gone unnoticed in Hollywood. Filmmakers have tapped his expertise for popular TV series like The X-Files and networks like the BBC and Animal Planet. Despite his ability to remain unstung while covered in bees, Norman is no stranger to the occasional bee's wrath, with acclaimed 75,000 stings under his belt. In a feat immortalized in the Guinness Book of World Records, Gary holds the title for holding 109 bees in his mouth for a nerve-wracking 10 seconds. Number 7. Horse-Carrying Ukrainian the internet is buzzing with excitement about a Ukrainian superhero, none other than Dmitro Kolaji. This powerhouse showcases jaw-dropping feats of strength, like effortlessly lifting a full-grown horse. Now, horses aren't accustomed to being lifted off the ground and hauled around, so things don't always go according to plan. The biggest risk here is that the superhuman might stumble, potentially causing harm to both him and the four-legged participant. Yet, his legendary horse-lifting trick has earned him quite a reputation. Reputation. Hailing from Eastern Europe, the massive man boasts an impressive tally of 63 Guinness World Records, making him an enigma. Some of his reported feats include lying on a bed of nails while three concrete blocks weighing a whopping 1,500 pounds were crushed on his chest by sledgehammers. He's also known for lifting a 335-pound stone with one hand and bending six-foot-long nails in 90 seconds. This near-legendary status has even led some bodybuilders to hail him as the strongest giant in the world. World. But there's more to this former circus act and Ukrainian strongman. In addition to deadlifting a saloon car and letting a truck run over him, he's been featured in numerous television shows showcasing his incredible antics. However, despite his thriving acting and athletic career, the 38-year-old strongman has had to put things on hold. Why? Because he resides in a war-torn area of Ukraine, where he supposedly continues to entertain with his outlandish feats. Talk about a real-life superhero facing challenges on and off the screen. Number 6. Michael Lotito Imagine telling someone to call for assistance because they claimed to have eaten an aeroplane. Sounds absurd. Who could devour an entire aircraft unless it's made of gummy candy? Even then, aeroplane sauce isn't a thing. However, the incredible feats of Michael Lotito might make you reconsider the feasibility of such a claim. Born with an unusually thick stomach lining, Lotito embarked on a lifelong journey of consuming bizarre objects, starting with metal and glass at the tender age of nine. Recognized by Guinness World Records as having the strangest diet, Lotito's talent became apparent when he casually chewed on glass fragments after a drinking glass mishap. Dealing with the psychological condition known as pica, which triggers the compulsion to eat non-edible items, Lotito went beyond conventional norms, literally ingesting metal fragments and auto parts. By the age of 16, physicians discovered that Lotito's robust stomach lining and powerful digestive secretions allowed him to consume sharp objects and rough surfaces without harm. Surprisingly, soft foods like eggs or bananas made him ill due to the strength of his digestive system. As part of his performances, Lotito expanded his repertoire to include glass, rubber, metal, and even disassembled larger items such as bicycles, shopping carts, and TVs. However, his most astonishing feat was consuming a Cessna 150 aircraft, which took him two years and resulted in no adverse effects. Throughout his life, Lotito is estimated to have consumed over nine tons of metal, including a commemorative brass plaque from Guinness World Records. Despite his extraordinary abilities, in 2007, at the age of 57, Lotito passed away from natural causes, leaving behind a legacy that challenges the limits of human consumption. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Hold on to your superhero capes because it's time for our subscriber's pick. 
and boy do we have a tale that will make Peter Parker reconsider his radioactive spider bite. Imagine a world where smacking your head into a shipping container leaves you unharmed and puts a dent in the container. Is this woman a Marvel character in disguise, or just someone who stumbled upon a super strength potion? Some say it's a result of a mysterious medical experiment. Picture that, a superhero origin story in the most unconventional way possible. Is this strong-headed woman for real, or are we just witnessing a shipping container's worst nightmare? Now the skeptics might say it's a hoax, but who are we to question the might of the headstrong heroine? Do you think she's real or just a figment of our collective imagination? Drop your thoughts below and let the debate begin. Number 5. Veronica Cedar Humans usually have 20 over 20 vision, which means they can see clearly and sharply 20 feet away from point A to point B. But who outshines human eyesight? Superman? Supergirl? Batman girl? Imagining a superpower is fascinating, and not being there would be intriguing. Picture taking a stroll and observing what's happening behind you. Now, let's shift our focus to a real-life extraordinary individual, Veronica Sider, born in Germany in 1951. She attended school and later enrolled at Stuttgart University in West Germany. Veronica possesses superhuman vision, resembling the keen eyesight of an eagle with its long-range vision. To clarify, it wasn't achieved with the help of an eagle. Her recognition range extends up to a mile. This remarkable ability is partly influenced by heredity. Veronica Sider's extraordinary talents became public knowledge while still a student. In October 1972, the University of Stuttgart conducted visual acuity assessments testing the resolving power of the human eye. Following the visual testing, the university revealed that Veronica Sider, one of its students, displayed exceptional vision, capable of identifying an individual a mile away or 1.6 kilometers. This is one of the most astonishing feats in history, considering human vision is typically limited to around 20 times that distance. Veronica underwent this vision test at the age of 21. Veronica Sider's vision is often viewed as a paranormal mystery by humans. However, her eyesight was so exceptional that she could read a 10-page message on the back of a postage stamp. Veronica's vision was measured at 20 over 2, significantly surpassing what humans consider normal. Despite this, she could effortlessly determine a person's relative distance from her and identify them from a mile away. It was even claimed that she could perceive things on a micro level. Veronica Sider's superhuman vision earned her a spot in the Guinness World Records book in 1972. Number 4. Nick Walenda the daredevil of Niagara Falls. Nick Walenda, the undisputed king of the high wire, has etched his name in the annals of daredevil history, setting an impressive 11 Guinness World Records and achieving feats that defy mortality. His live performances have captivated audiences in all 50 states and across the globe, solidifying his status as a world-renowned high wire performer. Having faced death-defying challenges, Nick Walenda carries on the rich legacy of the Walenda family, embodying the mantra of never giving up and debunking the deceptive nature of fear with his unwavering courage. From Chicago's towering skyscrapers, where he casually strolled between two buildings blindfolded, to the breathtaking traversals of the Grand Canyon and Niagara Falls, Walenda has consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible. A seventh-generation descendant of the legendary Flying Walendas, Nick's journey began at the age of 13, when he made his professional tightrope walking debut. His passion for high-wire walking intensified, and by 2001, he played a pivotal role in the first-ever eight-person high-wire pyramid. Walenda's commitment to breaking records soared in 2009 with an astonishing 15 walks over 100 feet in the air. One of his most iconic achievements was becoming the first person to traverse Niagara Falls on a tightrope. This heart-stopping endeavor involved running a 2,200-foot cable, two inches thick, 13 feet above the ground between two cranes. To prepare for this audacious feat, Walenda went to extreme lengths training over the water near his Florida home with airboat convoys generating winds of up to 78 mph to mimic the conditions of the falls. All the while, a rescue helicopter stood by for the real thing. Nick Walenda's unparalleled journey as an American author, high-wire performer, and daredevil has not only set records, but also redefined the limits of human bravery. His story inspires awe and admiration, making him a living legend for his death-defying acts. Number 3. Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut, the undisputed king of competitive eating, has not only mastered the art of devouring copious amounts of food, but has taken the competitive eating world by storm. This California native, in his pursuit of victory, a $10,000 reward, 
and his 13th mustard belt, has emerged victorious in 12 out of the past 13 races. The sheer spectacle of Chestnut's abilities is impressive and, for some, unsettling. Chestnut set a record by consuming an astonishing 74 hot dogs and buns in just 10 minutes in a jaw-dropping display of his eating prowess. Yeah, this is a crazy year and I'm happy I was able to get a record. As we look forward to this year's competition, the burning questions on everyone's minds are whether Chestnut can surpass his record and what makes him exceptionally skilled at devouring hot dogs. Behind Chestnut's remarkable feats lies a combination of skill, mentality, and unwavering effort, qualities all great athletes share. Interestingly, Chestnut's journey into competitive eating was spurred by his younger brother, who marveled at his voracious appetite upon returning from college. This curiosity led Chestnut to enter a lobster eating competition in Reno, Nevada, where he discovered his passion for the sport, even if he didn't win. Seeking guidance on training, Chestnut approached a professor teaching a nutrition course in college. Over the past 10 years, he has fine-tuned his routine to enhance his food consumption and recovery. Despite the grand prize for a Nathan's hot dog contest, Typically hovering around $10,000, Chestnut, through breaking food records, earns an impressive annual income of approximately $100,000. Today, he is a national treasure and a true American hero. With an insatiable hunger for victory, Chestnut shows no signs of slowing down. Keep an eye out for Joey Chestnut, as this culinary phenomenon might soon be visiting a city close to you. Number 2. Raja Durai Velu If you're curious about the incredible feat of pulling a train with your teeth, the intense workout routine involves more than sheer strength. Picture this. Lifting a whopping 550 pounds, running 15 miles, practicing meditation, and dedicating a significant portion to jaw training. Imagine waking up at 4.30 a.m., gearing up to use your teeth to pull a train, a challenge conquered by the legendary Malaysian athlete Rajadurai Velu, known as King Tooth. In the daring act, Velu, a devout vegetarian, clenched a steel rope between his teeth, pulling a seven-coach train weighing 297 tons, over 9 feet and 2.2 inches along the rails. This marked a new world record for the most massive weight pulled with teeth. Notably, Velu set the same record in 2003 by pulling a 260.8-ton train over 13 feet and 9.3 inches. As Velu dug his heels in and strained against the wooden railway ties for leverage, gripping both tracks for support, excited spectators cheered him on. The question arises, how does a man, armed only with his fearless denticles, manage to pull nearly 600,000 pounds of carriage? It might seem implausible, but it's not about lifting that immense weight. It's about overcoming the rolling resistance of the wheels. Train wheels, made of robust steel, provide less resistance than automobile wheels, making them easier to pull. The key lies in exerting enough effort to overcome the rolling resistance the wheels create, slightly giving way under the weight they bear. But does understanding the physics behind it diminish the magnitude of Velu's accomplishment? Absolutely not. Before every train-pulling attempt, Velu follows a unique ritual, adding a touch of tradition to his incredible feats. He places his right index finger against his chest and his left index finger against his nose, closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and touches the top of his head and forehead. Velu's jaw-dropping performances showcase physical strength and the power of determination and discipline in the face of seemingly impossible challenges. Number 1. Daniel Kish. Daniel Kish stands out among the roughly 39 million blind individuals worldwide. While many rely on seeing eye dogs, Daniel has forged a unique path using a combination of a cane and echolocation. Losing his sight at just over a year old, Daniel's upbringing instilled in him the courage to confront fears head-on rather than retreat. Despite the use of a cane, Daniel employs a distinctive method to navigate his surroundings. He makes sounds by subtly opening his mouth and sucking his tongue. These emitted sounds bounce off nearby objects and return to him, guiding him to traverse a room seamlessly, avoiding collisions. Human echolocation involves producing sounds with the lips, such as clicking, cane tapping, foot stomping, and finger snapping, to interpret positions and sizes of objects through sound waves. Daniel, often likened to the real-life Batman for his exceptional echolocation skills, sees himself as pushing boundaries and challenging the constraints that blind individuals commonly face. Which mind-boggling superhuman ability left you utterly astonished? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.